South Dakota Symphony Orchestra fans are in for a real treat this weekend when Grammy Award winning conductor John Nelson steps up to the podium. Nelson will be leading the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra and Chorus in Brahms' dramatic memorial requiem sung in German. Symphony Music Director Delta David Geyer is joining us in the studio to tell us more about this weekend's performance, which the musicians and singers have spent weeks preparing for. He's also going to be sharing some details about this weekend's guest soloists. Welcome. Thank you. Always great to have you here. This is an interesting choice. I want to start, we talked early in the season about this being your 20th season, and you've chosen not to conduct one of the concerts <laughs> in your 20th season. So... <laughs> We need to understand more about what went into that decision. Mm -hmm. Well, I've wanted to have John come here for quite a while. Getting, he's, I mean, he's a very busy conductor internationally, so it's kind of hard to, to wrangle him schedule-wise. Uh, but uh, John was a mentor of mine, has been a mentor of mine since I was a student. Um, and uh, he's lived in Europe mostly, uh, but has has, you know, Sort of, well, particularly in this sacred choral repertoire, mm -hmm. he's been a big mentor of mine. So I've wanted to bring him here to work with our orchestra and particularly with our chorus. Um, and our chorus has just been getting better and better and better and better and better. And it, it was, you know, I wanted to make sure that we were ready for him to uh, with with the level that he'll bring to this. So uh, when I asked him, what would you like to conduct? And he said, oh, please let it be bronze. I said, okay, done. That's, yeah, for sure. This is a real treat for you then. Oh, You're but, sitting back like this is it. Oh, yeah, just to see him work with our folks. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm sure he's going to love them. And I, I think they're going to love him. So, Is there anything particular about this piece that you enjoy, that you recall? I mean, I'm sure you've conducted this many times. <clears throat> yes, I have. Uh, and it's not because I don't want to conduct this piece. That's for sure. I would love to have another crack at this piece piece it's been quite a while but um well i mean it's brahms first of all and and we we love brahms players love to play brahms people love to hear brahms it's got all of that umami of of classical music i mean it's rich it's 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 poignant it's it's transcendent it's also powerful and it's got it it's got everything this piece uh, so yeah it's a lot to delve into we should talk about the soloists. In particular, mm. one of the soloists has some strong roots to South Dakota. Indeed. Laura Wilde is originally from Watertown, and she's got quite a career. I should mention that these soloists are John Nelson's choice. Oh, okay. okay. So these are people with whom he's worked. Now, was uh, it coincidental that he picked somebody from South Dakota? Yeah, absolutely it is. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because the gentleman's from Canada, I believe, so, yeah. so it must be. Oh, that's interesting. And, yeah. and what made him choose these vocalists, do you think? Well, I think he's, I don't know if he's worked with them in this piece of Brahms before, but he's hes worked with them enough sure. to know. Uh, like, I worked with John for several years in, a, in the Chicago Bach Project, and uh, that's where I met Daniel Okulich. I actually conducted a, a, a B minor mass of Bach where Daniel was the soloist. And so I can un I totally understand why John would like tap him and say, yeah, you're, you're my Brahms guy. <laughs> but that's meaningful, particularly not with him not even, there's no choice in this being from South Dakota, hmm. but you are very focused on always showing people here what they can do with music here and hmm. from here. And mm -hmm. so it's a meaningful thing to have somebody from South Dakota Absolutely. to show all the people out here like what you can do. Right. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and speaking of Brahms, this also, we have to talk about this concert's dedicated and sponsored um, by Susa Doty for Ray Sidoti, who was with the symphony for a very long time, a lover of Brahms, my violin teacher. Mm -hmm. um, so I think also special to the musicians in that way, too. He was a fixture to the community as a violinist and Absolutely. a teacher. Absolutely. No, it's, uh, we, we all loved and respected Ray so much. Uh, and he gave so much to this community for, for decades. Mm -hmm. And Sue, his wife, still continues to do that. So many students, uh, music students coming up through their studio, like yourself. Yes. Others that are out there actually, you know, making careers as professional musicians all over the country. And yeah, it's, it's made a big investment. He taught many of us how to work hard for something. Mm. And I think whether we became musicians or not, it carries through the legacy does. Well, this is the thing about, about music is uh, that the, the personal discipline it takes to play the violin 
you know, it's it's not like you're just going to practice with the youth orchestra or whatever. Like your commitment to spending time alone in your practice room, mm -hmm. hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, in order to be able to even get together and play with people is significant. And Ray brought that discipline to you. He did. Mm -hmm. and, he did. Uh, and now you've applied it to everything else in your life. It's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For those who are going to the concert this weekend, are there any nuggets to look for? Anything in there that people are really that love to to uh, hear a piece or a certain that there's things that they're looking for in this particular piece? Well, beauty, glorious beauty. I mean, this is a very non geyer program mm. uh, <laughs> because it's an all Brahms program. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if it were me and I had a first half of a program, Program with the Brahms Requiem, I would do some wonky contemporary piece. You know, <laughs> that's that's who I am. You know, to to take the the art form further. But John John said, no, let's just let it be Brahms. So I can tell you that uh, our players also may be a little relieved. You know, <laughs> just to play Brahms for a week. You know, sure. and to 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 just uh, you know resonate in this glorious sound. Mm -hmm. I love watching you conduct and when you're communicating with the orchestra with with this conductor is there anything to look for from the audience that you can really kind of maybe see a little bit into the soul of a conductor when you see them communicating? Well I mean John fully embodies the music he conducts. He doesn't at this point in his career I mean he doesn't have music director positions anymore he's just guest conducting and making recordings at this point in his career um, so, uh, he only conducts what he loves to conduct. That's the only thing that he cares about now. And so you can watch for how that embodiment of the music, his total investment in the music and the, his connection with the musicians, uh, that, that I'm, I'm very confident will be evident. It means a lot to the musicians too, to be able to experience something like that. I think so. Right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's nice for a conductor to get to a point in their life where they can choose what they want to conduct. You yeah, know I, look, I, mean? I look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> to that. Right. Like not to have a mission to, to yeah. do something for, for anything else, but just yeah. to enjoy it. Sure. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We'll be excited to experience this in a spectator just like you. Yeah, Thank absolutely. you so much. Thanks. Why not celebrate a great season of great music by becoming a friend of the South Dakota Symphony by donating today. Your tax-deductible gift is critical for continuing orchestra concerts, music education programs, and impactful community building programs. Learn more ways to support the symphony at sdsymphony.org. This Kelloland Levine segment has been sponsored by the South Dakota Symphony Orchestra, embarking on its next 100 years by building with a strong heritage to create an even stronger future.